And all right, so we've all been in and out yeah. this morning from the studio to outside talking with Vermont Fish and Wildlife about their Operation Game Thief trailer. We're going to yeah. keep going with that this sure. morning, too. And it's really, really cool. It is. Spencer Thomas is outside right now, and she's talking about poaching and the story behind some elements of that trailer. Hey, Spencer. Good morning, everyone. Yes, we've been live outside of our studio all morning talking about Operation Game Thief with Vermont Fish and Wildlife. I'm standing here with Jeff Whipple, who is a game warden. And Jeff, you've kind of been leading us through the entire morning talking about this trailer that you guys are using as an educational tool. And so each one of these uh, elements in the trailer, they have a story. So let's talk about, you know, this guy right here. Sure, yeah, thanks, Spencer. So uh, the trailer has all sorts of different, different uh, mounts and, and illegal evidence that, we, that we've seized um, through illegal um, activity through fish and wildlife. So, uh, so this guy uh, in particular, so each one has a little description by him, but they have a really cool story that goes with it. So um, not being really cool, I mean really, really illegal. Um, so him particularly was shot with a rifle during the archery season, uh, which isn't allowed, tagged by another person who didn't shoot him. And, and there's there's a whole bunch more backstory, but that's kind of just the, the, the fast forward version. Right. Um, his neighbor here uh, was particularly shot two o'clock in the morning, spotlight, out of season, um, deer season, taking deer was not open, taking deer at night is not open. So um, some of the things for people to look at, look for is maybe he, you know, this guy particularly shot with a rifle during archery season, okay, there's a violation. Right. He was shot with a spotlight when there's no season. So um, somebody sees that spotlight, we encourage them to call um, and, and call immediately when right. it happens. So so the, the violation is, is happening. So we're, we want to get in, in route while while it's happening. We don't want, we would rather know about it at two o'clock in the morning right. than at eight o'clock the next day when, when he's already gone or, or, or something else. So um, catching them in the act. And, and that's uh, that's what Operation Game Thief is here to help. Um, so we, it's a 24 hour hotline number. Um, also our dispatch centers are open 24 hours too. So in our home, Game Warden's home phone numbers are listed in the book so uh, every game board in the state would much rather have that call when, when the violation is hot or, um, so to speak um, while it's still happening so absolutely yeah well thank you so much and so you know obviously deer season is approaching the hunting season is approaching but what about the fish and the fish laws as well we have right here sure yeah so that's that's a great question so um, kind of people don't really think about well, maybe you know there's there's still fishing violations and, and there certainly isn't and we've got a couple of uh, different um, examples to, sh to showcase that um, we have ice fishing is probably our next biggest thing coming oh, up yeah um, so in, in uh, one of the pictures up here there, there's a, a case where somebody was fishing right after it had been stocked and it was brook trout and they actually kept 30 fish was which was 18 fish over the limit of brook trout which is kind of you think well isn't the limit enough? Well, for some people it's not. So if you're out fishing and you see that person who's one right after the other, um, cell phone pictures are great. Uh, we're, we're looking for um, descriptions of what that person, license plates. I mean, and maybe if you're counting, how many fish did that person actually keep? Each, each waterway is regulated. Um, we, have, we have a very unique uh, spear gun item up here, which uh, 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 certain species of fish are illegal to spear gun or, or to, to hunt with a bow. Um, so we, we actually made a case on that, and um, so we're looking for for fish and wildlife violations. And basically, what we say for fish or wildlife, if it looks illegal, fish and wildlife it wise, probably is. it probably is. Yes, so, and that's when people can call that hotline number. Right. Okay. And, and, we'll, and it doesn't hurt anything to call and say, "Hey, I saw this. Right. Is this illegal?" We would rather know about it than not. Absolutely. So, yeah. So we're actually going to have that hotline number on our website throughout the day. If you do see something illegal or you think it's illegal, like Jeff said, again, we'll have that hotline number on our website and you guys can give it a call and you guys will check it out. Yeah, All absolutely. right, so we'll be live here all throughout the next couple of half hours. And uh, that's all we have. Back to you, Megan and Palazzetti. Such great info. Thank hey, you, Spencer. Thank you.